amidst fields painted with coal, surrounded by numerous lakes and vivid hills covered with woods, there lies Chuhuf. This charming town is located between Kashubian and Krajinsky lake districts. It is a region of exceptional natural values. The stately castle tower, visible from a few kilometers distance, overlooks the town. The 14th century castle, as stated chronicler Jan Dvugos, the Teutonic Knights valued as high as Marburg. Although it has survived only in the residual form, it still shows their power and foundation magnitude. In the yard there is a cannon from the French Prussian War. May their swords never rust, but in power grow. That is how real medieval knights fought. Today the swords are used by Chukhov Knight Brotherhood members who maintain the knightly tradition in the castle. All visitors have a moment that takes them to the Middle Ages, so they may feel like real knights. An unforgettable experience, especially for boys. Timber and brick steps lead to the top of the 46-meter tower. The first 200 steps take you to the scenic gallery to admire the panorama of Chuhuf. From here you can see the three lakes surrounding the town. The most attractive to tourists are numerous peninsulas, islands and charming bays overgrown with rushes or padded with golden sand. Chuhuf's natural landscape values are its true treasure indeed. In Chuhuf, everybody will find a quiet place to rest. This is a lovely beach park adjoining the castle. Old trees' shade will give you consolation and silence. The semi-darkness, where sunshine is hard to find, makes the atmosphere unique. The closeness of the castle adds to the mysterious ambience. The town's main promenade is King Street, leads to the market, the central location of the town. Here are a few tenant houses have survived until today, like this one from late 19th century, with impressive sculptures. The market witnessed many significant events in the town's history. The main religious and state celebrations were held right here. Today it is one of the citizens' favorite places. In the northwestern corner of the market, there is the historical St. James the Apostles' Church. The Neo-Gothic temple was founded by the Vejras Starists. The big altar from early 18th century holds the picture of the Black Madonna of Częstochowa, consecrated by Cardinal Stefan Wyszyński. The icon is unveiled on Wednesdays and Saturdays and on Virgin Mary holidays. Coffers follow the example of Renaissance ceilings. At the side altar from 1660, there is Paschal candlestick from the 15th century and an early Baroque confessional. Stained glass windows picture saints. This charming building is the town hall. It was raised between 1907 and 1908 for the Starists. After the Second World War, it had the Starist office and then the National Council's offices. Now it is the seat of municipal authorities. From here you can hear an anthem every day at 12 o'clock. The original museum is located at this house from late 19th century. In one of the halls you can see a model of the Teutonic Knights Castle. The exhibition Prehistory of Truchov area shows the region's most distant past. Among the precious exhibits are cinerary urns and a stone's chest grave. The ethnographic division gathers remnants of Kashubian Goch's civilization 
such as furniture and utensils of local population. This building dates back to 1892. It was one of the few local constructions which survived the calamity of war. It was always held to the post office. Clay vases, double pots, bowls are coming back to favor these days. These are a work of Ryszard Arkuszyński and his son Jarosław. To them, pottery is a family tradition. The work is tiring and requires lots of patience. Clay products of Truchow's artists are acclaimed both at home and abroad. Truchow lakes are the paradise of pure nature lovers and water sports fans. Lake Rychnowski is a charming place for direct contact with the beauty of nature. This lake is the town's only public bath. The guarded beach attracts both tourists and locals. On each sunny day it draws many fans of lovely tan. Crystal clear water is in itself an invitation to swim. And to think the beach is a mere 20 minute walk from the center of the town. Whoever likes physical activity on the beach may play volleyball. The sports and recreation center offers accommodation in 110 cottages, pavilions and a camping for 500 tents. The number 80 camping is always a winner of the Mr. Camping Award. Chukhov's authorities make much of health, physical fitness and active recreation of the citizens. The nearby lakes are perfect for water sports. What makes the town famous are its canoeists. The Piast and Posto sports clubs raise all Polish representation in the field, those who excel in both domestic and foreign tournaments. Each year the sports base of the town is used by a few thousand competitors of various sports. Footballers are most popular. Summer sports camps also gather wrestlers who willingly train at the center. 800 fencers from Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia and Norway perfect their skills in the sports hall of the gymnasium in Chuchów. International atmosphere, chattering and fences, traditional outfits add to the sports charm of the gymnasium hall. The training would not go so well without superb sports halls, good fields, courts and tracks. All that make both young and old citizens of Chuchów seek fun in sports. Motocross competitions are a tradition that marks Chuchów. Once forgotten competitions are again extremely popular. Here, at a track at Kamienna Street, a few thousand fans cheer their competitors in winning the title of Champion of Poland, as Truchow Auto Motor Club members are always the leaders. Natural conditions of Truchow region, namely lots of woods and deer, make it a perfect area for hunters. Locals certainly know it, so they frequent the hunting club Sharak. The area is abundant with deer, roe deer, wild boars and even raccoons. Good population and accommodation facilities attracts hunters from Denmark, Germany and France, who always come in May for deer season. After the hunt, the traditional fire with sausages and endless jokes. In the club's seat Kotlinka you can find trophies of local hunters. Two main routes from Warsaw to the seaside and from Berlin to Elblonk lead through Truchow. At the Berlin Road there is a unique gas station. The owners prepared quite an attraction for the youngest. Ducks, monkeys, colorful parrots and zebras are only some of the animals you can see here. This is a perfect place to rest before your further journey. All visitors will find very good conditions of stay and rest. Restaurants and bars are located both in the center of the town and in the suburbs. Stylish restaurants, marvelous yet affordable cuisine will satisfy everyone. There are lots of food and drinks to choose from. Hot bacon, guzzler's pouch or just a simple steak with cabbage. 
everything to your taste and well. Tourists may find accommodation in different parts of Chuhov, even in the vicinity of the Teutonic Knights Castle itself. Quiet, spacey rooms will help you restore your strength for your further journey through the vivid Chuhov region. The community center gathers all the citizens who are sensitive to art. Many exhibitions of local and regional artists are held in the building. This one presents the work of Danuta Uczkiewicz. Local dancing groups are always active at the center. Their songs are aimed at both old and young, both locals and visitors. Evening walks through Chuhuf are organized by young Damian Kasperovich. The bypass has been one of the town's biggest investments in recent years. The beltway made it possible to lead transit traffic out of the historical town center, so Chuhov became quieter, cleaner and free from traffic jams. That was undoubtedly a giant step towards drawing potential investors. The historical treasure of Chuhov is priceless. No wonder each year the town exceeds its budget for environment protection. The sewage treatment plant for the town and the common was expanded and modernized. The town's plans are as ambitious as its achievements. An up-to-date solid waste dump has been recently completed. It conforms to all EU directives. In Chuhuf you will find unpolluted places and virtually touch the beauty of nature. The smell of grass, herbs and flowers may make you dizzy. Local woods, apart from foxes, hares and wild boars, are inhabited by otter, muskrats and beavers. The area forms an exceptionally charming region of Poland. When the sun sets, all nature turns silent. Whoever visits Truhof just once will surely come back.